Hello all, this is just a quick video showing the uh, Android application for controlling via Bluetooth Mead 497 telescopes. Okay, this is the main screen here. It's basically just a launch from your application window. You then select the device that's prepared. Okay, and you'll get a little toast message popped up whether it connects or not. And now it says connected to uh, the device. Okay, and then we can uh, interact with the device. We have select item object shown there. Uh, we can scroll up. We can scroll down. We can scroll up. Okay, we can drop down. Uh, it supports long press. So long press on this device is three seconds. This will drop us down into... Uh, uh, the right ascension declination alt as menu area and this is the focus control so then we have uh, there's a 1244 focuser hooked up to the device right now and let's see if we can get it going some speed here oh, you can't hear it from over here and let's you can also uh, it has a tactile feedback you can have toggle you can have toggle vibrate on or off Okay, so I just put vibrate on. Uh, we can go to back up to here. Let's come down to setup and we'll align. Now we're going to pick the easy align, and you know how uh, the 497 has a scrolling display that you can never really exactly tell what it has. Well, this this application gives you a a scrolling window. Okay, so you can scroll around the window and see actually what it was to trying to tell you all those years. Okay. And then we'll press enter and we'll start the alignment sequence. It's thinking, it's thinking, centering capella. Not sure what year or even date it's set to right now. We'll go to we'll go change that after it's done with this alignment. Okay. Thinking some more. Thinking some more. Now you can hear the motor running in the background. This is a, a, uh, an ETX-80 base. So it makes a lot of noises moving around. Control by 497. Okay, go back to mode. Uh, you know, if we pick something like uh, glossary, enter. Uh, bear is usually a, a fairly large one. So, and then you can see what it has to say here about bear and glossary again. You know, for long messages, it pops up a scrollable screen for you. Okay. Mode gets you back out of it. Mode gets you up one. Uh, let's go down to setup some more. And let's go see what date it's set for. So, October 30th. Well, I don't think it's October 30th. What is it, the 12th? So we got the 12th of November. I don't know if you can see the cursor moving. There's actually an Android cursor in there. So it's 2011. And then we have an enter. So we set the date. And we can set the time. And what time is it? Right here, uh, Eastern Standard Time. It's 4.35 p.m. So we have 04.35.15. For want of a better thing, uh, PM. Uh, scroll up. Okay. Enter. And so we set the date. We set the time. Daylight savings. It's not daylight savings right now. So we'll leave it at no. And telescope type. Telescope model. ETX 70. I don't think I get an ETX. Yeah, I do get an ETX 80 choice. back up here um, let's see what else can we do that's pretty much your, your major 
features. Uh, again, you know, the, uh, the long press will drop you down. Oh, see, it's a three second long press. One, two, three. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, we're down the RA deck. There we go. Oh, pop right back out of it again. 2001, 2002, 2003. Okay. And of course, we have SLU. You know, we can set the speeds here. Go for speed nine. Drop our speed down. I don't know if you can hear it's training over there. We'll put it up on speed seven. I have my backlash set really high. Let's see, let's go back down and change the backlash. Set up. Telescope. Yeah, that's what I thought. So let's, let's go down to something reasonable. How about 50%? Enter. Enter, 50%, enter, I get back out of here, now do some slewing, and up here you see the connected state, uh, up there you see the little uh, identification of the application, and that's pretty much it, uh, thanks everybody, I appreciate your time, have a good day.